What's poppin' you two? Welcome back to BNN. Got another video after two weeks. Okay, but you know, we've been going through some stuff, you know, family, some stuff. family stuff, personal stuff. If you guys have us on social media, I'm sure you guys will like, you guys kind of know. Post, I, I haven't really posted it. Either. I posted one thing and that's it. But anyways, we're just, you know, we had a, we had to get y'all with a little banger, a little mug bank of, oh, yeah. hey, a lot of y'all been wanting to know uh, how we came out, you know, so we're about to, we're about to let you guys know. Right so. now we're at some place, what's this called? Okay, so I'm putting Brianna on. It's right here. If you guys live in Bakersfield, it's, there's a place right here, right next to Maya Theater. Yeah, I just in the put Mohan. the thing right here. But she's about to put it up right here. This shit's no, fire. Or, Bri or, or wherever. <laughs> wherever she's going to put it because she edits the videos. But she be she be making some bangers for y'all too because it's, it's, it's not even the video. It'd be the fucking editor. Like, she's she's good as fuck at it. I ain't getting no help from nobody running off the ground. Nobody. And, uh, yep. Like, like hey. I'm about to make out that's why if you look at my first videos that shit's a trash blurry i talk too much like bro get on with the video like yeah, right so now right now we're video. not about to we're not about to do all this talking but now we're just gonna get into the story and tell you guys how we came out gay what we came out we gay. Thought, um what we went through and what's going on now <laughs> how everyone feeling <laughs> she said what we went through yeah. let me include myself nah. Yeah. So day one. Day one. Nah. When was the first time? When was the first thing that you? The first time you noticed? Not noticed, but like you're like, but I think I like girls. Okay, like I've always since I was smaller, since I was like, even in fucking elementary type shit, I would always like, you know, I always had a lot of girlfriends. I would always hang out with girls. I would never hang out with guys. I always hang out with like girls, and I would be. Well, like, would you dress like a girl or no. a guy? Okay, I would dress. I would dress like, like a tomboy, basically. Yeah, I would dress with like, or like. I would still wear tight jeans, but I would like try to wear like more t-shirts and like I never wanted to do my hair I know like I would always just put my hair up in a ponytail. Oh real quick. My grandpa did, Was the type to like what the fuck are you wearing? Like, but in Spanish like don't wear that like not don't wear that But we, when we get home, we'll like take our hat off and put it in our shirt So he wouldn't yeah. see that we were dressed like a boy or whatever. He would never like we would wear anything like or shorts Okay, look I would I would be going to school and I'll take my shorts I will take my shorts in my backpack and a shirt in my backpack. I would go to school, go to the restroom, and change. And then I had a hat. It was an ugly hat, but I liked it. Like I like wearing hats. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember what I don't even remember what it looks like, but I remember like it was ugly. Now that I think about it, like I thought about it like not that long ago. And Natu will wear her hat like this. Like, I want my hat today. I just like that. I don't got no hair yeah, so don't mind me. I'll put, I will put yours on. Okay, I'll put yours on here. That's okay. Thank you. Please. So I would always take my shorts and my whatever in my backpack. I would go to school. I would change. And then I was at school. Like, I would be checking out girls. Like, I ain't even going like, like, I would be like, oh, like, she's cute. You know, like, I would always try to make all these girls my best friends and shit. It worked. <laughs> I mean, it worked. That's why my mom said that she's like, I don't even know. I don't even know how many fucking best friends she had. I would come home saying, oh, I have a new best friend. And she will be like, what the fuck? Like, all weird and shit. I was little, bro. Don't y'all don't judge me. But I would go home when I'm walking to school. When I'm walking home, I'm like I'm still in shorts and my shirt, and my hat, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, fuck. So I'm right there behind the car, like changing, like. And I would always wear like, I mean, I. We'll put a picture up of how you look back then. Yeah. You were wear. I'll put it right here. I like Facebook swag back pictures. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I'm, I would, I'm telling you, I would literally, my hat would be straight like this. Now that I look at it, I'm like, what the But it was fuck? normal back then. Though. Yeah, like, I mean, it was. Right. Now, if my shit is not folded like this, I'm tripping. I cannot, and then I still see foods wearing their hat like that, like this shit. Up. I'm like, and it'd be those, it'd be those old foods that be wearing them like that. Those that wear DC case shoes. DCs with some, with some big old, with some Levi's. I don't know. Anyways, so I would be almost getting home, right? And I'm like right there taking off my fucking like my clothes behind a fucking car and shit. But I always wear like sports bras and shit, or like or like shorts under my under my jeans. Or so it was like you know it was easy. So I would change, take off my hat, my fucking stuff, whatever, put it in my backpack, and walk home. But I did that for a, for a, like a couple times, and then I got tired of it, and I'm just like. Fuck it, like I'ma just start. I Which really don't we care. lived with my grandpa at the time, and he, like I said, he wouldn't like that, so that's why we would, she would hide it and stuff like that. Yeah, but my grandpa, he was like, 
Not that he was like fucked up about it, but it's just like, you know, like he has granddaughters. He don't have um, grandsons, like, you know? And he's Mexican, so it's like a typical yeah, fucking Mexican dude. Old man. I know y'all probably seen him in a couple videos. Anyways, so one time, my grandpa caught me like, like I had the hat on. He's like, get that, that's a chingadera. And I don't know why. And I was like, take that shit off. Take that shit off. And I was like, whoa, what shit flew. I was scared. But then, like, after I was just like, I don't know. Like, that's all I got. I just, I just got yelled at. So I just started doing it more and more. And then I, I, I don't know. My mom, my mom would kind of get mad too. She'd be like, what the fuck? Like, like, why are you wearing that? Why are you? And she would buy me like girly shit, but I didn't want to wear girly shit. Mom even made her a deal. Baby, I'll buy you some everything new. Just get rid of all your, your boy clothes. I'm going to buy you whatever you she want. She said, Any Jordan I'll buy you shoes. Vans. Because this is how I, before, like, I would dress like this. I would wear Vans with long socks, some shorts, like booty shorts. But they were like, I I really didn't care. Because I was in track and all that, my boy. So they were like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So... I would wear that and then a regular t-shirt she's like you could just you could still you could wear that just put your hair straight i'll straighten your hair whatever because your boy did not know how to straighten her hair boy but yeah she told me like just straighten your hair and then like like you're good like i'll buy you whatever you want and i was like say less but i never did it so she wanted her to throw away all her yeah clothes. so that was that was like a first stage like oh like you know she dresses like a dude whatever so, but nobody still didn't say nothing about it and nothing. It was just me, myself, that I would look at girls oh, and I'm like, you know. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Oh, oh that exotic. That's fire. That's fire, my boy. Ooh, scissors. <laughs> mm, can I try this real quick? That Try that, that first taste, like how does it taste? Just the sauce. It's different. Thank you. Hey, try this chicken. Why is it hard to see? Where's the other shrimp? Yeah? It's valid, bro. Hey, if you guys aren't eating nothing, go get some food because we're gonna make you hungry. That was really fire. I don't want. Mm. Look at that. Just a bite. The way it like crunches in your mouth. Mmm. Okay. Mm. I gotta put it on, bro. <laughs> okay, since story time is on me, I'm gonna, you know, be the one talking. Y'all don't mind Brianna? Yeah, because I was not in there yet. Yeah. I was minding my business. Mm -hmm. I would dress like a boy, not like a boy, but I would just dress in regular clothes, to be honest. Back to, I would always check out girls, right? I was at, I was at school, right? You know, I'm just right there chilling. I was, uh, I think I was already, I was already in middle school. I would always hang out with my tia Maria. Maria Tiburcia, known as Locked Up. Okay. Shout out to you, my boy. Of everybody. Why you Shout out to you, my boy. You're the reason. You are the reason why my life was so fucked up. So anyways, so, she she always knew, like, she would always see me, like, check that girls. I would be, like, trying to, like, get at all her friends and shit, like, on some weird shit. So I was going to school with her, and I would always be on the bus with her. So I'll be getting on... And every time I would get on the bus, like I was talking to one of her friends, every time I would get on the bus, she would be like, let's be honest, let's be honest. I think you said that on one of the videos already. I did. But she would always say that shit. I would always be like, like what the fuck, like, what is that? Like, like you know, I was I was in middle school. I didn't even know. I was yeah. a fucking little sixth grader. Yeah. And she'll be like, let's be honest. In front of who, a mom or what In you front mean? of everybody in, in, the, in the bus. Oh. In front of everyone in the bus, she would say that. I'll be walking, getting in the bus, and she'll be saying that. And then, one time, like, like she would say, "Let's be honest, like, be honest, like we know you're lesbian, whatever." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like, like I was all embarrassed because, like, that was I felt weird, like you know. And everybody would look at me like weird and shit. Was it being was it weird back then, like being gay? Or it no? was because yeah. when I came out, with the time that I came out was a time when people were barely like you know it was barely becoming a thing devil. like after i came out after i came out is when all this pride shit and everything was like really yeah out. when it was really like you know but See, I yeah <laughs> but she, she said i hid no but when i came out it was like it wasn't like that much of a thing yet it was just like i don't know 
So anyways, she, I was embarrassed as fuck. Like, and then I remember that, that day at school, like, I was just, like, I don't know, I was, like, all nervous and shit. And you didn't tell her and I brushed the fuck up? No, I didn't say anything. I was like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like, you shut up. You would deny it? I would deny it. I would hella deny it. And I'm like, no, I'm not. But she knew I was talking to her to her friend. So we lived in, in Rexland, right? So I, I don't know if you guys know, you know, Bakersfield, Rexland. There's a fucking a canal. So I would go from my house to her friend's house, which was my girlfriend, like, on the low. So I would fucking go smash on my bike through that fucking canal and go to her house. And then I would just go and be over there, whatever. And then I'll go back home, like, smash. Because I couldn't leave. I couldn't leave the house. Like, I couldn't, nothing. Because my grandpa was strict as fuck. So, I don't know. One day, she didn't go to school. She didn't go to school. And she was like, I wanted her to go to school. I wanted her to do good. What the fuck? <laughs> so, I snitched her out. I told my grandma. Because, my, well, my grandma asked not, me. You gotta say the name. Because they're like, ooh, didn't go to school or what? Oh, Maria. We're talking about Maria right now. Because I'm lost myself right okay. now. Okay. Sorry. Like, so, didn't go to school? No, Maria. Okay, Maria didn't go to school. Maria was the one that would always say, and let's be honest and all that. So, she didn't go to school, right? She was my tia. Well, she still is my tia. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. I'm living right here. She was. She's my. I know. It's cause I don't wanna. I'm about to make them like. Okay. So, see, I can't do this. I can't talk and eat at the same time. I'm about to make y'all hungry. Though, look. Mm, that fire. So one time she didn't go to school. Maria didn't go to school. My grandma. She asked me. I got home. I got home before she before she got home. She was supposed to be home with me. She was like, Maria? She said, where's Maria? And I was like, oh, like, she didn't, like, I don't know. She didn't go, she didn't go to school. Come on, que no fue a la escuela. She said, what the fuck? Like, what do you mean she didn't go to school? Right? And Maria was where? With her boyfriend, probably? Maria was with one of her boyfriends. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? Go and look for her? Go and look for her? And then... No, I could have said, like, oh, she stayed at the store or she stayed talking to one of her friends or something. But I said, oh, she didn't go to school. Aww. Right? So you snitched her out first. I, I basically snitched her out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting to. I snitched her out and I was just like, you know. So she got home, right? And she got in trouble. She, My grandpa beat her ass and everything. So my mom was there. My mom was there. My tia Janet was there. My tío Junior was there. We're about to put pictures of all them. I'm sure you guys already know them if you guys watch our videos, but everybody was there at the house. So she was mad. She was like, what the fuck? Like, this fucking snitched me out, you know? So I was in my room with my mom. And she goes in there. And she's like, she was like, Nancy, tell her. Tell her. And I was like, tell her what? Like, she's like, tell your mom. Tell her. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I knew what she was talking about, but I was, like, looking at her, like, what are you talking about? Like, like, what the fuck are you doing? Right? And she was, like, tell her. And I was, like, and I told her, like, my mom looked at her, and she was, like, what? Like, tell me what? And I'm over here in the back, like, no. So she ended up saying, tell her. Tell her you have a girlfriend. And I was, like, Bro, my fucking heart dropped to my ass. Like, when I say it literally dropped to my ass, like, that shit dropped and melted in my ass. I was, like, scared. I was, like, no. Like, she's lying. She's, like, stop fucking lying. And she said her name. She said her name. And I was, like, she's lying, mom. Like, she's lying. I was scared. Like, I was about to, like, I damn, I cried. I actually did cry. I was, like, she's lying. And she's, like, really? Like, you have a girlfriend? Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, I was like, fuck. I don't know. I've actually never heard this story before. Like, <laughs> so she was like, my mom was like, what the fuck? Like tripping? Like, like how do you ha like? What do you mean you have a girlfriend? Like, what do you like? And I was like, she's lying. Like she's lying. I don't know. My mom was like, I had a girl. I didn't have a boy. And she called my uncle. She called my tia Janet. She called my madrina, my tia Carmen. And they were in the room, and she was like. She was like, oh, that Nancy has... I was like, don't tell them, don't tell them. She said, like, oh, that Nancy has a girlfriend. She told all of them. And my Theo Jr., he was like, that's fucking nasty. You're fucking nasty, and I don't know what. How the fuck are you going to be with a girl? 
you're supposed to be a fucking guy, you're a fucking girl, and I don't know what. That's nasty as fuck. My tío is the main one that said I was nasty as fuck. My tía Janet said I was nasty as fuck. Like, to them, I was, like, fucking disgusting because I, obviously, like, I was being with a girl. My mom was, like, fuck that, like, you know, fucking trying to disown me and shit. I was crying and shit, and my madrina, my beautiful madrina, I'm about to picture, right her, picture her right here. All this space just yeah, for her. Coming. She was like, how the fuck are you guys going to say that to her? And I don't know what. Like, she was defending me. She was like, she was like, whatever she likes, whatever it is, like, I'm going to love her the same. And I don't know what. Bro, point is, they were all talking hella shit. Like, I was in there too saying, telling her, you're nasty. Yeah, Brianna used to tell me I was nasty as fuck. Like, what, but like, it's just, I would see all the other kids telling her too. So yeah. Like, me and Nancy, we weren't close how we are now. Yeah. She used to I say I was nasty too. I back then, but me, we were just close okay. there. She I said I was nasty as fuck. Oh, Nancy, you're nasty. You're nasty. You have a girlfriend. You're nasty. Nancy, and, and whatever. She ain't not the truth. Yeah. <laughs> and I would, like, bro, the point is, I would cry. Like, I would fucking cry. And I'm like, because everybody would say I was nasty. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Nothing. And then my madrina, that beautiful lady that we just put right and there. grandma too, no? Or I'm not grandma didn't like me either. <laughs> no, she didn't like me until my madrina knocked some sense into her too. Anyways, my mom hated me. She hella hated me. And I ended up moving with my madrina. I literally left the house with my madrina because nobody wanted me at home. Because I was fucking gay. Whatever. Good morning. How did you feel like? Did you get depressed? Bro, I did get depressed for, for a cool minute because I was like... Nobody even wanted to talk to me. Like, I would literally, my madrina would try to sit there and comfort me and shit. But I would literally, like, cry myself to sleep. I would, like, I would cry myself to sleep. I couldn't, I didn't want to go to school, but I did keep going to school. And then my girlfriend at the time, she would, like, you know, try to comfort me and shit. But I ended up, um, leaving her because I started messing around with more girls. Since everybody already knew I was gay, I was just like, fuck it. You know, I went all fucking balls out and shit and started talking to hella girls. The of the motherfucking story is, nobody fucking, like, nobody fucked with me. After after a while, like, I started going around my family more. You know, I started, like, knocking some sense into them and shit. Like, little by little, they started talking to me. And guess what, guys? Guess what? Now, I'm the fucking favorite of everybody. Everybody calls Nancy. Nancy, I need this. I need that. I need this. I need that. Remember when you didn't like me? What was all that energy? You enough? remember when you used to talk shit? Oh, you remember when I was nasty? Nasty Nancy. <laughs> Nasty's coming, stupid. Bro, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're like, if you're gay and you don't want to come out, bro, just. Who fucking cares, bro? Just do that shit. They're gonna bro, judge you. They're gonna judge yeah. you regardless. You're gonna do what the fuck you want. Cause look at me. Now look at I'm I. Free and happy. I'm happy as fuck. Do what the fuck I want. Talk to who I want. I like nobody fucking tells me shit. Cause it's my fucking life at the end of the day. It's your motherfucking life. Don't let nobody Don't tell you. That. Me, I was scared. Like I was hella scared when I came out because like you know it wasn't even a thing. But now everybody's gay, bro. Even the motherfuckers that say they're not gay, like they're really fucking gay. I know a couple people that haven't even came out. Oh, they have to me. Or in Brianna, but they're scared to come out. Like, don't be scared to come out. Or if you guys are scared, if you guys are scared to come out, you guys don't want to say nothing, whatever. Y'all just hit me and Brianna up. Like, if you guys need to have like a conversation with us, like, oh, like if you guys are scared to come out or something, let us know. Like, we'll, we'll. I mean, we're not the best at fucking advice either, but y'all could just, you know, y'all could hit us up, talk to us. Cause I mean, her she didn't go through shit, so y'all could hit me up. Brianna came out. Like nothing. Nothing happened. He spoke my mom greeted my girlfriend. Hi Miha. Moved on. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. That's all. Brianna didn't go through shit. Like literally. That's why she's not even talking. She didn't go through nothing. I I, I even went through it with when Brianna came out too. That it was my fault that she was oh, like yeah, that. They would blame Nancy that I'm They would blame me. So even though she the way came I'm out dressing and all that, like the way that. when she came out, it was still my fault. Nancy's the reason why this. Because I, I supposedly follow, oh, I kind of do it like 
Now she's the I, reason why I everything. I her footsteps that took it now that I'm good. But now look at her. She's happy. Happy as fuck. I don't let nobody, don't let nobody tell you guys, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Because you could, you could fucking do it. Fuck what everybody got to say. Fuck whoever going to judge you. Fuck whoever going to stop talking to you. Because then later on, at the end of the day, they going to need you. They going to look for you. Theo, I love you. Theo, Janet, I love you because, you know, they've always, like, been there for us. Madrina, the main fucking one. That's my fucking second mother right there, too. Basically, it is. Your yeah, madrina? she's my madrina, so basically my second mother. But if it wasn't for her, I think it would have been like harder on me because she's the only one that would come for me. And now my mom's like our number one fucking supporter. Like she's like. Oh, mom's cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure y'all met my mom. Yeah, everyone, you guys all know her. If you guys are new here, y'all watch her videos. You guys get to know my mom. What is this? I want to try this. My mom go, look, go like this. Look at, I'm, come here, look, I'm about to show you. Go like this. Like that. Pull the head off. Oh, this is a tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said the head. Pull, I said pull the head off. Know. And look, Where's crush it, crush oh, it oh, this in the is middle. The head. Yeah, crush it in the middle like that. Wait, what body do you have? Like, <laughs> what uh, body do you have? Crush it in the middle? Crush it in the middle like that. Like that. And then go like this. If you open it like this. Let me show you that. <laughs> okay. Once you take a little bit off from up here, like, once you take this part off right here, look, you just go like this, like, and it comes right out, look. Like that. Like that. Oh, look. I did it. Why does it look dark? We look dark. That looks like shrimp. <laughs> nice one. I'm sorry for the video quality, but if I get copyright, I'm about to be sad. But anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, y'all don't be afraid, afraid to come out. Oh, we just wanted to do this video because there's, like, a lot of people that asked us, oh, how'd you guys come out and shit? There's, like, people, gay. there's people that really want to know. There's people that are really, like, like, on the low, like, they, they really want to know because they want to know what it's, what it's like, you know? And, I mean, I don't want to scare y'all, like, oh, like, you know, like, yeah, I went through it and shit. Because it's different now. A lot of people. Yeah, it is really different. I was back then, and it was not good. Really. Yeah. Back then was when I when I first came out. It was like people were barely coming out. But again, don't be afraid to come out. Hit us up or hit me up. Don't hit her up. She's weird. I won't reply because I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but look at my hair's popping down because of how long my hair is. We're gonna get a haircut though. We told you guys on the last video to comment, say less. Say less. And we're going to give a shout out to whoever said it. So, Big shout out to Angel Rose Bar Barone. Barone? Barone? Barone. Angel Rose Barone. I'm sorry we said it wrong. Like always, we always say that. I'm sorry we said it wrong. But we're sorry, but we don't know how to read over here. She said. You don't know how to read over here. She said, say less, team Nanta. Hmm. Team Bree, come on now, where's all my people at? She it's said, Team Nanto, all the way, love you both and love you guys. Love you guys, love you, I'm gonna say it how it's meant to say. <laughs> love you guys' videos and, love you guys' videos you guys never felt with dangerous. Yes, sir, we appreciate the love even though you say you're her fan. I mean, you're on her team, but Team Bree over here. Nancy don't put no effort into nothing. No pranks, nothing. I'm getting I just said my whole story. <laughs> that story is very valuable and, and I just want to give another shout out to I'm going I'm to point out the ones that are always commenting I want to give a shout out to Lindsay Miss Solis Ar Arlet right? Arlet. Arlet and then um, Princess Baby you guys are always commenting on our videos and like the first you ones to like pop on and we see that shit like and uh, Laura Luna I'll be seeing you too and Alexandra we, and Jasmine H, we be seeing you too. Or Laura Lim, Lemon, Lemon. Laura Lemon. Laura Lemon, we be seeing you too. And who else? Who else be active? Oh, her too. Some I think I seen her sometimes a couple times. Miss Carre Carriga. Carriaga. Miss Carriaga. Or whatever she just said. 
Bro, we be seeing all the comments. Thank you guys for always commenting, staying tuned in. And we love you guys. And we love we'll, our little, the little supporters we have, but we love y'all. Yeah. And we about to get up there, and y'all about to go up there with us. Yes, sir. Look, and you're not down. here to me do it all. I let my guard down. I did all this just for this little piece of meat. Make sure y'all like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe. And don't and be I'll scared. And I'll pinch you this on your ass. <laughs> don't be scared to come on, bro. Just do it. This is your sign to do it. <laughs> bro, don't be scared. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hold on. I want to see if this meat is going to come out. Ready? I <laughs> didn't come out. <laughs> And we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheese! On my face, I attack that. Choose up, Lil' John, I'm finna pack him. When it comes to my...